Hello there. My name is Ryan Nicholas with the Damon Sells Homes team at Cobalt Banker Realty. And today I am excited to give you a immersive 3D tour of our brand new listing at 3919 Keith Place in Annandale, Virginia. I'm going to share my screen with you and we will start the tour. So here she is, 3919 Keith Place. And the history of this house is, is really pretty cool. The current owners bought it in 2016 and totally renovated it a couple of years ago in 2018. So they painted uh, the exterior. There's a new roof just put on in 2018 and uh, really some major work done in the inside and in the addition on the back of the house, sunroom back there. So here's another little view of the front. We got a one car garage and there's a woodworking shop underneath the garage in the lower level. So we'll get to all that. The other cool thing about this house is there's room to expand it. So the upper level is a walk up attic, currently unfinished, but you could finish it and add two bedrooms and one bathroom. There are architectural plans that the owner has that have already been uh, designed on, on how to put that in if you'd like to. So uh, before we take a tour of the inside, I wanna show you the area. So here's the Google Maps overview of the area. You can see how close it is to downtown Annadale, which has really been uh, revitalized and revitalizing over the years. Uh, we're inside the Beltway here, as you can see. And uh, one of the things the sellers loves, love about living in the house is uh, its proximity to some of the local parks too. Manassas Gap Park is close. Hidden Oaks Nature Center is nearby, uh, Annandale Community Park. And sometimes they love to take a short drive over to Mason District Park to, to walk around. Uh, some great, great activities you can do there. And zooming in a little bit, you know, you, you could certainly drive, but it's less than a mile walk to, to grocery shopping, uh, some of the restaurants down here, and really a wonderful location. Zooming in a little bit, you can't get a better lot than end of a cul-de-sac, right? So it's located at the end of Keith Place. You drive down Keith Place into the cul-de-sac and your driveway is straight ahead here. So uh, the lot itself is quite large. It's over half an acre. There is a, uh, it's 0.6 acres. It's kind of like a trapezoid shaped lot, something along these lines that I'm tracing for you here. And I'll show you some pictures of that uh, what the lot looks like towards the end. So now let's uh, let's take the 3D tour inside. So we use, uh, since COVID started, we've been using this 3D Matterport technology to give us a 3D model of the house, brings you right inside. And there's another link to it in our listing where you can actually put on a virtual reality goggles and walk through the house yourself like that. But uh, today I wanna show you, uh, you can see here's the dollhouse view. And there's the sunroom addition on the back. And uh, before we dive in, I want to do uh, to quickly explain some of the renovations the owner did inside the house. So first of all, like I mentioned, this sunroom addition off the back is is new. And originally, the house had the primary bedroom located here, with the uh, preserved vintage bathroom was the was the primary bathroom. These two bedrooms uh, were just bedrooms and there was a shared bathroom here. Uh, now the owner has uh, renovated it to expand the primary bedroom suite and make it this suite down here with a large uh, bathroom dressing area uh, right here, which I'll show you. And uh, they also did some major work to the kitchen, which I'll, which I'll show you once we're inside. Uh, as you can see, there's hardwood floors pretty much on the entire main level. They, uh, they put in floor hardwoods where there wasn't any and uh, refinished everything in 2018 as well. Let's go inside. So you walk in to the house and to your left is one of the bedrooms that they've currently set up uh, as a home office. This, this used to be a wall right here and they added these double pocket doors. Uh, so it's really pretty neat. Work from home and look out for the view of the street. Beautiful new front door assembly and a powder room right off the foyer. I'll show you the uh, designer vanity in here. 
just really nice features throughout this house. We'll step outside and actually first head this way towards the kitchen and breakfast area. So when they bought the house, this was all wood paneling here. So uh, clearly a lot has been done. There's uh, many new windows across the front of the house and in the sunroom addition. Uh, this was a kind of like a separate kitchen area and then breakfast area. The sellers have opened it up and you can see there's a two-tone center island with a prep sink, beautiful countertops, backsplash. We've got a double oven, uh, stainless steel fridge and dishwasher with a vent hood over the gas stove. It was originally electric, but they ran a gas line up to, uh, to make that gas cooking. And standing over the main kitchen sink, you're looking right out onto the cul-de-sac. So it's a double sink here. and uh, microwave and prep sink in the center island there. And there's really nice features. I won't point all of them as we go through, but uh, look, at the, look at the handles and poles on this, just really nicely done. Uh, here's the garage entry. So you come right off the garage into the kitchen. And uh, these stairs here lead up to the attic. So that's where you're gonna go to, uh, to access the upper level. And uh, they did some major work in this, in this room as well. So let me minimize that. So this was the dining room and there was a, a wall separating it from the uh, main living area, which is over here. So they opened that up as well. You can't even tell. And this is just a really cozy living area, brick hearth, uh, wood burning fireplace and nice big windows right here, hardwood floors. And then we'll step over into the sunroom. More like teleporting, not stepping, but you get the idea. And the, the sunroom addition, again, was just two years old. They have a, a vaulted ceiling here with the beautiful stack stone fireplace, electric fireplace, and the TV and mount convey as well. Nice view out into the backyard on this side. And new sliding glass door out to the deck. So we'll take a look outside real quick. So here we are on the deck and it's composite material. So it's very easy to maintain. And the side yard goes quite a bit down this way. Again, it's like a trapezoid shape. And there are steps down to the fenced in portion of the backyard. So if you have pets, it's already set up. Uh, you can let the dogs roam back there. And there's a nice patio underneath the sunroom addition as well. And go back inside here. And continue on into the bedroom area. So we'll go down the hall here a little bit. Linen closet there. And uh, let's start off in the current primary bedroom. So there's this entire wall of beautiful mirrored closets and there's lighting inside so you can always see what you're doing. The owners have thoughtfully put on uh, this uh, frosted glass on the lower level so they live here and they don't need uh, any privacy curtains at all and the windows allow for lots of light to come in and the whole house has been freshly painted in the last few years. Nice transition here into the bathroom area. So first we have wonderful storage, open shelving, and a nice dressing area here with the sink. I'm getting ready and stepping into the bathroom portion. You can see that it's all been renovated. Beautiful tile shower with deco tiles, deco uh, niches, and a bench. And there there's actually a heater up there. So you can keep your bathroom nice and toasty when you get out. Uh, beautiful vanity as well. All right. So we're going to step back out. Into the next bedroom. So again, this, this suite here used to be the primary bedroom. So it's a large room. In the corner, beautiful, lets in lots of the windows, let in lots of light. There's a walk-in closet right there that I just passed. And then here's the vintage bathroom. 
And uh, we see a lot of these and they're falling apart or in bad shape. This one is in spectacular condition. The owners preserved it. And uh, this cabinet here is actually not a cabinet. It's a laundry chute down to the laundry room in the storage room. Uh, so tub shower combo and just a really nice bathroom that brings you back to that mid-century construction. And the house was built in 1955. So it has some of that mid-century charm and it uh, gives you all the modern updates that you would want. Now heading downstairs, we're gonna check this out and the entire basement has been renovated as well. So new tile flooring in the basement is very classy. They installed a, a mini split, a ductless mini split system down here, which is highly efficient. And a little story about the heating and cooling in the in in the entire house so you see the baseboards have been throughout the house so there um was baseboard heating right now it's just for show because when the owner bought it she decided to convert to uh central heating and air so there's a a new heat pump i believe it's uh it was put in in 2018 as well same time as the major renovation and uh the the baseboard heating is disconnected currently but could be reconnected and the uh, upper level has the uh, central heating and air, and then this lower level is, is heated and cooled by the ductless mini split system. So there's quite a big rec room here. And again, a beautiful wood burning fireplace hearth right here. This door leads to a gigantic storage room. It's over 750 square feet. That's where the laundry is as well. That also has a walkout, walkout uh, egress. And now let's go back through this door. So stepping into the hallway here first, uh, this door leads to the shop. I'll show you a picture of that a little bit later. We've got a beautiful full bath in here. I'll show you that a little bit. Nicely renovated a couple of years ago as well. Nice vanity. Heading on down the hall, we've got a uh, craft room right here. Show you a photo of that a little bit later. Some other storage closets, as you see. And then here we have uh, the fourth bedroom. So uh, the uh, owners currently have it set up as a guitar studio, as you can tell. I like I like their style. And uh, but it could be used as another home office, as a as a guest bedroom, kids study area whatever you'd like. Library, there's some bookshelves here. And then this door also leads to that rear storage room. So that's the interior. I'm gonna zoom back out again so you can get a feel for everything that we've seen. Here's the floor plan. And I'm gonna show you the lower level floor plan so you can see what that looks like. This entire space right here that's that's shadowed out is that 750 square foot storage room. And the shop is right over here, not in the 3D tour, but that's about 360 square feet, roughly. So I'm gonna switch over, show you some more of these photos. So here's the craft room. The original owner was an inventor. So uh, this is where they worked on some of their inventions, but you know, whether you're wrapping, uh, wrapping presents or working on a hobby, great room for that. Here's a shot of that. Uh, the huge storage room is behind us looking at the laundry area, utility sink, rear exit. And here's the, the shop. And uh, so it's good storage area with space to do woodworking or, or whatever you'd like to use it for with rear egress. Here's the stairs that come up into the attic. There's two nice cedar closets here for your seasonal clothing storage. Uh, the new heat pump and the other side of the attic. So it's really quite a big space that could be finished out nicely. Here's a shot of one of the cedar closets. And I also wanna show you some seasonal photos of the lot. So uh, this photo here is the, the other side yard on the other side of the deck. And the property line actually runs pretty close to the neighboring driveway there and goes all the way back. So big flat side yard for kids to play in, in addition to the rear fence yard. And if you zoom in here, you, there's a little bridge that crosses a tiny little uh, creek in the back of the lot. And 
on the other side is still on this lot and there's a little patio set up there where you could have a fire pit or something like that. So that is 3919 Keith Place. If you would like to make this your home, I would love to show it to you. Call me today or you can email me. My contact information is below. And uh, we've listed it for 775,000. It's going to hit the market on January 15th. If you're an agent and you'd like to take a look, please give me a call. If you're a potential home buyer, if you'd like to take a look, please give me a call. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch the tour today. And I hope you have a blessed day. Take care.